Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS online video tutorial series. Uh, my name is Sean, and today we're going to look at uh, an, uh, an aspect of Drupal that we use to our advantage. Uh, we're going to make a custom landing page for our Drupal installation um, that we uh, build a theme for with PSD to CSS online. Um, and we use, uh, in building our theme, we design that custom landing page. Uh, this technique can be used to make any custom pages in Drupal. It doesn't have to just be the landing page. You can make any page or story in a Drupal installation and look different and be designed differently than all of the other pages uh, using this technique. Um, but we're going to use it today to make a custom landing page for a Drupal installation. So first, let me show you a, uh, a pretty clean Drupal installation. This is uh, only has it has three stories in it. Let's see. Um, Here's our stories, um, and uh, here, here's two of them actually. And uh, the installation has been set, and this is something that Drupal does, uh, that if you have some content, um, so you've got here one called uh, another story, and home page I've called one, and this is a test story. Um, home page is actually, it just says this is the front page of Drupal, but it's node two. Um, when I made it, Drupal called it node two, Zoom in here and see that. And uh, that's important. Um, we're going to use that in a moment. I'll show you uh, how you tell Drupal uh, to use Node 2 as the uh, as the front page to the website. Uh, you go into the administration and go to Site Information. And at the bottom here, there's a section that says uh, Default Front Page, and you just put in uh, what node you want it to be. Node slash 2, and that will make uh, Node 2 be the home for this uh, Drupal installation. So that's important. We'll, sh we'll see why in just a moment. So here we are in Photoshop. This is our, uh, our Drupal theme design. And what we're looking at is just the elements of the page that I want to make node to. And the trick to making this work this way is to, uh, let's see, we'll zoom in here, is to, we've extended the uh, layer naming convention for PSD to CSS Online. We've extended the way that uh, you na name these layers to make pages to make correct Drupal pages when you're making a Drupal theme. So um, uh, here we have uh, some content uh, and a large uh, underscore page uh, layer that encompasses them all. So all these things will be part of this page. And the trick to using the Drupal uh, page uh, feature is to name this page dash node dash and then the number, the number of the node that we want to uh, to make this design for. So this will become the custom design just for node two, and uh, all of the rest of the design will uh, page design will be uh, for all of the rest of anything else that Drupal wants to render. So this is how we're going to make our custom landing page because we already know uh, that we've set Drupal to make node two our landing page. Um, so. This is what our landing page will look like. It's got kind of a logo looking thing here. This is a big text area that I'll put text in and uh, by hand so that uh, the search engines can read it and uh, an enter button. Um, I'll show you also that, uh, here we'll switch over to it. This this is the standard, uh, the, the way every other page in our Drupal installation is gonna look. Uh, it's just got the left column and then the content area, which Drupal will fill in all that stuff for us. And I'll zoom in here. This is kind of review. This has been in some other videos, but we've got content underscore Drupal. That's what defines the big content area. And left, that special left underscore Drupal. That's what defines the left uh, column. And then we have another page, uh, page underscore page underscore empty. This name is important. That's going to be, that means that all the standard pages that Drupal makes, that's the way, that's going to be the design for it. So, uh, so there we've got a, a page designed and a node two designed. And so we'll save this. Actually, I think it's already been saved. Oh no, here we go, save. And go to PSD to CSS Online. We'll upload it and let PSD to CSS Online convert that to our Drupal theme for us. Now, one thing we're going to have to do with this conversion, uh, the only thing that uh, PSD to CSS Online isn't going to do for you on this, uh, for this particular thing, is that uh, that enter button. Um, we made an enter button, and we want the point, that to point into our Drupal installation. It's going to, because it was called enter underscore link, it's going to point to something called enter.html, which doesn't exist. So um, 
what we'll do is, is uh, grab our zip file that was generated here. This is all the code that PSD to CSS Online made. Just put it on the desktop there. And before we install it, I am going to go in and, and change the href tag for that one enter button that we just that I just talked about. So that is in uh, the design for our front page, which is page-node-2 TPL PHP. I'm going to edit this with Notepad. And here I'm already near the bottom. I'll zoom in to show you what I'm looking at. Oops. Let's see. So here's uh, this is our enter link code, and here's our enter link over code. And you can see the href tag points to enter.html, and that doesn't exist. I need to change that. I'm going to change it to Drupal test slash uh, node, which is, uh, for, for Drupal, that's the list of all the stories and stuff. That's what it usually uses for the front page. So uh, I'll go ahead and just do that right here real quick. Drupal test. That, Drupal test is because that's what my subdirectory is called. And I'll grab a copy of that and paste it here too and save it there so I did have to make one minor change to this particular design but what we'll do now is uh, FTP this up into our Drupal install I've already FT logged in with FTP um, copies our new theme up there wonderful now we'll go to uh, our Drupal installation and administer we'll go and choose our new theme There we go. We need to enable it and make it current. That's the PSD to CSS Online theme that was just generated and installed. We save our configuration. And there you go. Here's our, our new design. It is using the uh, left column and the content uh, because this is not Node 2. This is one of the internal pages. Administer, we can see the same thing. But if I do go home, instead of seeing co left column and the content, I see our special landing page complete with our button and text that I can customize so the search engines will find us. And this, if I edited that code correctly, this button should link us back to the beginning of our website. And sure enough, there it is. We have our left column again. We have our stories. Um, we have the ugly red text. You can change the color of that. Uh, there's another video that I posted last week that you can use. But uh, but there we go. This is uh, This is our Drupal installation. And it completely works here, but if we do go home or go to straight to Drupal test, our landing page is uh, what gets rendered instead of the standard design. So there you go. That's how you make a custom landing page uh, with PSD to CSS Online from your Photoshop design uh, for Drupal. Thanks.